guys welcome back to my channel i know i'm looking a little crazy right now but hey if you're new here my name is jackie michelle as you can tell by the title of the video i'm gonna be showing y'all how i apply my wigs with my ball cap i look real crazy without the cap i mean i look crazy right now but without the cap i look crazier so this is what y'all get y'all like getting my big ass head without it so just put the fucking cat put the cat on your head and that's the first step so I put I'm gonna show y'all which one I use I use the light brown I got two of them in here it come in different shades on the back whatever at the regular hair store go to the hair store and check it out if y'all whatever don't know your color so oh I got it stuff all in my eyes so I'm just I'm just now waking up so if I sound crazy rusty dusty musty it's eight o'clock in the morning and yeah I looked at my subscriber count and I told myself once I got to a certain amount I was gonna drop another video so I'm motivated and <laughs> that's why I'm up right now so yeah so anyway Make sure y'all subscribe down below. What was this? Make sure y'all subscribe down below. Make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up and share it with everybody you know. You know? So first thing I do is I take the scissors. Y'all see me looking down. I'm looking at the mirror. I take the scissors and cut my ear. Like that. And I just cut my ear off. So cut one ear out, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Um, when you cut, it causes like streaks go up and down. That really doesn't matter, but yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So yeah, my ears is out now on both sides. So this causes the sides to lay down for my sideburns. So I don't gotta worry about that. Um. Then, I see a lot of people using different stuff. I just use the free spray because it dries faster. It gets easier. Oh, this little spot is just grease because I grease my hair every time before I put my uh, new wig on. So I just take this and I just spray the whole cap. Yo, I used to do like freaking 30 layers of this stuff. Like I used to let it dry. I used to let it dry, then do like three. Honestly, you can do one layer and it's gonna stick. Long as you let it stay on long enough to dry, the whole thing will dry and you don't gotta worry about another layer. So, let me tell y'all what it is. Yo, this is me coming raw and real. Like, this is just as raw as it gets. And I pull it all the way down so the cap can be like fully stretched. And once it dries, I pull it back. Like my forehead isn't all the way down here. But once it dries or whatever, I use my scissors and I pull it back and I take it back to what I need. But I need it fully all the way down because um it just dries easier for my cyber. This is my daughter, y'all. <laughs> She got her new hair done. She loves it. It's cute. All right, go to the bathroom, Mama. Don't make too much noise. Don't make a video, okay? Shut the door, baby. So yeah, I pull it all the way down so the um the sideburns can dry. So yeah, I did all the sides or whatever. Yo, y'all want to hear something funny? I did this last night, but I fell asleep in the cap. So then when I woke up this morning, the cap was not even sticky no more. I be sweating, I be moving, I be doing all types of stuff. So I fell asleep in my ball cap. And I think I fell asleep when it was not even all the way dry. I was tired. Okay, so for the ear part, I go around the ear. Around the ear. You do that, so once you start cutting, that's dry, so that don't peel back either. 
So again, I'm just gonna go. Literally. The air I do a couple times just so I make sure it's there. Um, yeah. Same thing on the other side. So this is gonna take about 10 minutes to dry because I don't feel like blow drying my hair. Just sit here and wait for this to dry. I'm gonna come back once it's dry to show y'all how I actually cut it. Okay, so we are completely dry here. And now it's time to get to cutting. So again, I'm looking at a mirror so I can see. And also got a mirror in front of me. So y'all see me looking all different type of ways. So normally I just cut from here. And you see all the stuff is glued down on my, my head. I just keep cutting and pulling it up. I like starting from the middle because it's easier. And if y'all thinking like, how do I know where to stop? I got a mole on my forehead. And yeah, once I get to the mold, that's how I stop cutting. So, I don't know. Y'all can, like, try on your wig and, like, outline it and do all this extra stuff I be seeing people do. But, yeah, I got a mold, so thank God for that mold. So. All I'm going to do is just cut all around. And then y'all remember, y'all don't want y'all wig far forward y'all see the mold that's why I, I know what it's not y'all don't want y'all wig too far forward and it looks like a hat and too far back it looks like it's about to fall off your head so it's like a it's like an in-between type of thing so yeah I wear, I wear wigs so much I just already know and for the wig cap it really doesn't matter if you cut it straight or whatever. Well, it doesn't. Like, you're not gonna see it. It's gonna be under your wig. It's just supposed to make you look bow headed, baby. So. That's the ugliest piece, probably. Okay. So, now, behind my ears. It's all glued down, so I just pull it up from behind my ear a little bit. And that's it. So this piece is out, and I just cut sideways, like, on an angle. Because I don't want the piece to flip up where I want my sideburns. And that's it. Bam. Did I take this back piece? You gotta watch out. I got a lot of baby hairs in the back. But I just cut this off because I don't want this showing. Just like a little piece of it. Because I don't want that showing. I'm gonna make sure I don't cut my baby hairs. So that's that side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, and if y'all see this like extra wondering why I didn't cut it back more. I like to wear my wigs above my edges and way in front of my head because I actually want to keep my edges and I wear wigs so much so before I used to wear them further back but yeah I'm not wearing my wig all the way back there because if y'all thinking like she could cut it a little bit more yeah I can but I'm not wearing my wig all the way back there and my edges going to start falling the fuck off so So, I just trim up the edges a little bit or whatever. Never go back and spray more free spray. Because that is going to have your cap rolling up and doing extraness. If you see like yeah, you need a little bit more like to lay down because it's like starting to come up some. The glue that you use will lay that thing right down. I make sure I leave it up some and then I cut back as far as I want or whatever. And then, oh. and then 
I just keep trimming to where I think, you know, my wig will like. When I get to the edges, I'd be so scared. Not the edges, like this side, the sideburns, I'd be so scared because they be wanting to flip up sometimes and maybe act crazy. But this is actually pretty good. Oh, my battery is about to die. Let me switch batteries real fast. Okay, y'all, so now that the ball cap is where I like it to be, I get my brown powder and a brush and just put it around the edges of the cap. This just makes it easier to blend in with the actual wig and like once you put it on like it actually really looks bald and that's also why i like to put it a little bit on my skin in the front because like that's where my lace is going to lay and it's going to look like it's like actually laying on like skin scalp like a bald head so i'm gonna just do my part it don't really got to be like exactly like perfect like as y'all can see like i'm just trying to make it brown Try to make it like look like a bald head, basically. Like as y'all can see in the camera, like me, hold on. Let me fill in this spot right here. Like, as y'all can see me like looking in the camera, like I look bald. Like, you know, like that's the illusion. But if I actually turn and look, it's not really that bald, but you know, you know, you know. So yeah. All I'm doing is just making sure the edges are like brown. So I said are light, not like are brown. So you know, they blend in and look bold. So. Let to let y'all know that this is really a whole process. Like this is not just slap a wig on and get it going. Cause I don't like my wig floating onto my head. I like to actually, I do this step, these steps every single time I'm laying a wig. Like it takes me a little minute to, to lay my wigs cause I like my stuff to look, you know, good. Like, so yeah. Um, Let me know down below in the comments if y'all wanna see me lay one of my friend's hair, like one of their wigs or whatever like just let me know down below if y'all want to see that so yeah I think I'm bald enough whatever. so this is my bald cap this is me being bald let me know if y'all can see it oh, you can see a little bit of the cap right here but it's gonna blend so the hair that I'm using is right here this is a deep wave hair or whatever I just got it all sleek to push to the back I attempted to do edges on here but yeah so I'm gonna take the wig off and put it on my actual head to make sure my cap is like where it's supposed to be or if I gotta cut some extra off yeah. it's gonna look a little crazy right now <laughs> until I actually fix it Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit of this side off. And when you gotta cut some off, that's perfectly fine. Like, all you're doing is literally just cutting some off. That's why you always put your wig on before you start to glue, sis. Make sure you put it on, even if you think you did this a million times. Still measure it out before you start laying glue. So I already know what I gotta take back. Like, I really don't gotta keep it on my head to know. I already know, so. Take this off, and I'm gonna cut some more off. I'll just speed this part up because it's really no point. I just showed y'all basically what I did. I'm just pulling the back, so. Okay, now we're gonna try this again.
And this is actually the perfect I want to cut a little bit of these sappers off. Just a little bit. The glue that I use is the Ghost Bond glue. I use the um, the one for oily skin. Or whatever. So, before I start using it, let me wipe the top off with alcohol because sometimes they get me. Make sure the top is like completely clean. Okay. So then, I don't have any popsicle sticks right now. I use, normally use popsicle sticks like the end of them. I gotta go back to the store and get some. So I'm just gonna be using the end of my comb right here. I wiped all the excess stuff off with the alcohol that I just wiped off the top of the glue with. So now, and y'all gonna see why I bring I bring it more farther down from my hairline because is gonna actually get like I'm gonna put it like right here like let's see right here and my hair is not right here so I want to make sure some people like to do theirs in sections some people like to do it all at once I'm gonna do it in a section just for the sake of this video sometimes I do it all at once it depends on like if I'm rushing. And remember y'all, I said my mole is where I know like where I lay my wig at and I do this all the time. So that's why I like I know. So basically all I'm doing is smoothing it out all over make sure it's completely smooth. And if I have it too far back and not enough glue up the front, I worry about that at the end because you can always add more glue. When you're trying to fix the extra glue that you added too much of, it's so annoying. So, yeah, basically, I just spread it all down. Taking it back a little bit more. And before I add another coat, make sure this thing clear, dries completely clear. If it don't, girl, you gonna be in trouble. So I normally add three layers of this glue on my hair, and that's what I'm gonna be adding today. Three layers because I want my wig to last for about uh, a week and a half. It's actually not hot no more, so I might last without lifting and stuff. So yeah, I'm just waiting for this to dry. I'm gonna add another layer. Uh, Y'all see how I literally just spread it out. I don't make it clumpy. You see how like it's all evenly distributed around. So yeah, that's all I do. And I wait for it to dry and I add the next layer. Wait for it to dry, add the next layer. So I'm gonna speed it up once I keep adding other layers and I'm gonna show you the size, how I do the size, whatever. So yeah, only did this like this much of my front so I can just put the front on and then like clip the side I mean do the sides one-on-one -on -one. it's just sometimes easier okay you guys this is me about to apply the third layer on there you see how you can't see any of the the glue is like completely dry or whatever so, yeah, that's when you know it's time to add the next layer.
Okay. Y'all see we all dry here. All dry here. <laughs> we are all dry. I don't know why this is a little. Okay. So now we're going to take her right here. All right, let me stop being retarded. All right, so now we're going to take the wig. Oh, did I tell you that I push all, I feel like I did say that already. I push all the hairs backwards so it can like kind of help me because I be struggling with the baby hairs getting stuck inside. So. And then I just start pulling it forward. And then I push it in with my comb to make sure it's in there. I see that little baby here, but fix it. What the hair is actually on, but yeah. Make sure I press it down real good in my scalp. As y'all can see right here, I didn't add the glue far enough to the front. So at the end, that's when I like fix the flaps around the front. So. My main focus is to make sure it's pressed into my scalp. Okay, so I take the hair and use my clip and clip it over to the side and then the three layers that I did in the middle I'm going to do right on the sides it's literally the same exact steps
gonna wait for a second and then come back and add more. Okay, y'all, this is me adding the third layer onto the sides. Okay, y'all, we are completely dry. I'm gonna take these clips and clip them on me just so I won't lose them. Because I'll be having issues. Okay, so I'm gonna literally do the same thing. When I lay my wig, I pull down as far as it can go. Pull down. Never put your fingers in it. I put my finger tips So like I did the first time, I'm pushing in with the back of the cone. So it's kind of like, oh, why is this bird coming up? I'm scrubbing it in with my nails. Yes. So now with the flaps hanging up, that's hanging out, I'm just going to literally take one layer with the comb and just add the one layer, wait for it to dry, and it's going to stick. doing that to the flaps like I said it's easy to add to the flaps than to take away excess glue it's really annoying so I'm gonna do that to all the flaps and then I'm gonna come back 
with my hair completely styled and y'all can see the finish look so you guys this is the finish look it is so beautiful we got our edges together we got our like tuck behind my ear or whatever these are the Curls in the back. Tell me if y'all like it. We did a big transformation. So yeah, y'all. There's the finished product. I love it, love it, love it. Of course, when I beat my face or whatever, make it real cute. Get some eyebrows, you know, make it real cute or whatever. So y'all, that's the end of this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all want to see me do another installment on myself or any of my friends or cousins, let me know down below in the comment section and I definitely will. This was actually pretty fun because it's basically like me putting on a wig and I just got the camera in front of me. So it was really fun. It was really raw in the beginning because here in these streets just look at any kind of way like I just put it all out here on YouTube so yeah that's where we at with it so I just want to say thank y'all for watching if y'all watch to the very end make sure y'all let me know down below in the comment section give me a purple heart if y'all watched it all the way down to this very second I love y'all see y'all peace